The South African squash circuit is currently undergoing a massive makeover. Recently, UJ managed to win their fourth consecutive national title by defeating Amatix 4-2 in a closely contested final at Wits. Winning a title for a fourth consecutive year means a lot to us because we're striving every year to keep improving ourselves and to keep going forwards as, as much as we can and consistency is the key to that. The University of Johannesburg are also laying claim to having the best squash program in the game. What makes the UJ squash program so successful in South Africa is just that we've got a, a dedicated staff that are always there for us whenever we need them. We've got a strict training program that we all stick to, we're all supporting and motivating each other the whole way through. UJ's success has been built on having a well-rounded team. Boasting three of SA's top 10 female players in their squad, they're working hard to surpass University of Pretoria as the overall top varsity squash team. They still have the, the coveted title of the most championships and even consecutive championships in a university to squash tournament. Before we got in this, into this run we've been on, they won I think seven times in a row. So yes, we have to be fully respectful of them. UJ's main concern is not becoming more successful than anyone else, it's uh, to continue improving ourselves and to keep moving forwards as much as we can rather than trying to compare ourselves to others. We'll take one match at a time and as each year comes by we'll take one, one year at a time as well. Four of the University of Johannesburg squad members were selected for the South African Universities team after their victory. Winning today is an amazing feeling. This is the second year I've been captain when we've done it. It just makes me so proud to see my team getting it all, going all the way to the end, pushing our way closer to that record six hold and getting closer to cementing our place in history. With the team filled with stars and a program that emphasizes teamwork over individualism, could UJ have the recipe for success and legendary status on SA squash courts? <laughs>